partnered with Professor Moshe Shoram and Jonathan Amir, and we started building companies whose main goal was trying to reduce emergency department waiting times. We'll experience this either by ourselves or our family members. When people are just waiting three hours, six hours, in China people are waiting even eight hours. And the main reason for this is that there's going to be 3.8 billion people that will not have access to primary care till 2030. So everything you see right now inside the emergency department is going to get worse and worse and worse. And the reason is, well, doctors do not scale. There's already a shortage of 60 to 90,000 uh, primary care physicians in the United States today. So how can they scale more? Each primary care physician is responsible for 2,000, 3,000 patients. The patients are getting older. So this is where technology can come in. It's not to replace the doctors, it's just to help them scale. So what we started doing uh, is a clinical triage system that helps navigate the patients through correct locations, order the tests, and just the red flagging for the doctors so they can scale. We work with 75% of the HMOs here in Israel. In the United States, we've been deployed to millions of people. And then COVID came, and we were requested by the Minister of Health here in Israel to start triaging for COVID all the population of Israel almost on a daily basis. We started building a system that helps ask the right questions from the patients. Based on this information, of course, anonymously, create epidemiological maps and predict where COVID is going to hit in Israel, which city is going to suffer, which are not, so we can release it for economy. So on a daily basis, the Vice President of the Minister of Health is receiving a report saying which cities are at risk in a few days. Currently, we're capable of predicting one week, two weeks ahead. The same system has been deployed also with partnerships with uh, Deloitte in India, in Odisha area for 50 million people, and also in the United States with different collaboration, like with the governor of Rhode Island. Now, hearing these